Hey, what's up, YouTube? I'm Zeke, and welcome to the Dream Green Show. This episode is brought to you by Weeble. Sign up now by clicking the link down in the description, deposit $100, and receive two free shares valued up to $1,400. It's free money, so why not do it? In this episode, we're gonna be comparing, wait, wait one second. Ah, that's more like it. We're gonna be comparing the best beer stocks. Whew. All right, now this is pretty good. The beer companies that we're gonna be comparing is Anheuser-Busch, the king of all beers, hands down, Anheuser-Busch. The second one that we're gonna be comparing is Constellation Brands. They distribute many different type of beers across the, the globe, okay guys? And the last one that we're gonna be comparing is good old Samuel Adams. Now I'm not sure about how popular Samuel Adams is across the world, but I know here in Texas and across the United States, it's a pretty popular beer. But today we're gonna find out which one of these stocks has been performing the best over the last 10 years. Two of them pays dividends, Anheuser-Busch, which make Bud Light and all of the other beers pays dividends. Constellation brand pays dividends, but Samuel Adams, it don't pay dividends. How would this affect this company when comparing it to two great beer companies? In this video, we're gonna find out. But before we dive into it, make sure that you guys hit the thumbs up button. It helps out this channel more than you can even imagine. It helps me eat. It, I wanna eat more than rice, guys, and to help me eat some noodles, all you gotta do is just hit the thumbs up button. In fact, I'm gonna drink this beer until you hit that thumbs up button. You hit it yet? I hope so. Let's dive straight into this video. Welcome back YouTube. Here we are on my Google Analytics. It says that 76% of you guys are not subscribed to this channel. What, what are you waiting on? Just go ahead and hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any future videos like this one. But let's go ahead and dive into comparing these three companies to see if this will help you with your future investments at all. All right guys, here we are over on Seeking Alpha. The three companies that we're gonna be comparing is Anheuser-Busch, ticker symbol BUD, we're going to be comparing Constellation Brands, ticker symbol STZ, and then we're going to be comparing Samuel Adams, ticker symbol SAM. So let's go ahead and dive into the ones that pay dividends first, and then we'll attack Samuel Adams last. Anheuser-Busch, ticker symbol BUD, is at $58.96 at the recording of this video. Dividend growth is zero years. That probably means that they cut their dividends this year because of the pandemic. Um, they pay out their dividends semi-annually and they have a dividend yield of 1.90% and they pay out 56 cents per share twice a year. So semi-annually means twice a year. So you'll receive 56 cents every time that they pay out um, their dividends to their investors. If we take a look at their dividend history, let's see when did they cut their dividends. Yeah. They didn't have any growth over the last two years. In fact, their dividends have went down from $1.12 to $0.85 cents to $0.56 cents over the last three years. So it has shot down all the way back in 2018. They were paying $2.39 per share. So they did cut their dividends over the last couple of years. That's something else to keep in mind. If we take a look at Constellation Brands, Tickle symbol STZ, their price is at $189.58 at the recording of this video. They have grown their dividends over the last five years and they pay out quarterly. That means four times a year. They have a dividend yield of 1.6% and they pay out 75 cents every quarter to their investors. So four times a year, you will receive 75 cents from STZ. Constellation Brands. And the last one that we're gonna look at is Boston Beer Samuel Adams. Um, hey, this one does not pay a dividends, but look at the price. It is at $810.56. That is insane. So compared to Bush, which is at $58, Constellation Brands is at $189, but Samuel Adams is up to $810, so it outprices all of these other companies by a landslide and it don't even pay a dividend will this affect 
how this company has grown over the last couple of years. Stick around to the end of this video. Trust, hey, trust me. Stick around to the end of this video to find out. Trust me this time, for real, for real. All right, so before we look at the revenue of these three companies, let's look at exactly what kind of products do they produce. The first one is Anheuser-Busch. Um, they, they've been, you, you guys know the Budweiser commercial. So of course, they make Budweiser, they distribute and Stella Artos, Bex. Yeah, some of these beers I can't pronounce, but this one, that one, Bud Light, that one, that one, that one, Castle Light, that one, that one, that one, Mandelo. So they make and distribute all of these, uh, this list of beers right here. In fact, they have 500 beer brands that they make in or distribute across the world. Um, they're based in Belgium, so, but Anheuser-Busch is the, the, the beer king across the world. In your lifetime, you have drunk an Anheuser-Busch product before. Even if you don't drink beer, you have drunk an Anheuser-Busch product before. They got 500 different beers, guys, so you probably had some of theirs. So the next one is Constellation Brands. They produce, import, and market beers, wine, and spirits in the United States, Canada, Mexico, New Zealand, and Italy. It provides beer primarily under the extra premier, familiar, like, hard seltzer modello so all of these beers right here is the ones that they really focus on they either make or distribute it to these countries right here so this is no slack off company right here this is a powerhouse that produce and distribute main beers across many different countries and the last one is boston beer company samuel adams tickle symbol sam they produce and distribute all of these beers. They offer various beers, hard ciders and hard seltzers under the Samuel Adams, Twisted Tea, Truly Hard Seltzers, Angry Orchard, Dog Fish Head, Angle City, Coney Island, Concrete Beach, Wildlife, and truer brand names. So they produce and they distribute all of theirs to 400 um, wholesalers in the United States. So Samuel Adams, it's like a beer company, a brand of their own. They ha also have all of these other brands underneath them and they distribute theirs to 400 warehouses, wholesalers in the United States. And they market and brand the Samuel Adams name well, but they don't pay dividends. So let's look at their last uh, revenue earnings right quick. Samuel, Samuel Adams in 2019, December, had a revenue of $1.25 billion. Constellation Brands in 2019, had a revenue of $8.12 billion. And Anheuser-Busch had a revenue in 2019, December 2019, for $52.33 billion. So Anheuser-Busch destroyed the other two companies when it comes to terms of revenue. That's They're just kings. Okay, and how's the bushes kings? But how well would it have performed over the last 10 years to see how much money you would have made from each company if you invested back in 2010? All right, here we are on the portfolio visualizer. We're gonna compare these three companies over the last decade. So we're gonna change that to 2010 to 2020, include year to date. Uh, an investment amount, $10,000. This is us investing $10,000 back in 2010. Uh, no cash flow, rebalance annually, yes. Um, in display income, yes, reinvest dividends, yes, benchmark, no, portfolio names, let's get to that. All right, so the first one is Budweiser, B-U-D, well, Anheuser-Busch. The second one is STZ, Constellation Brands, and the last one is Samuel Adams, Boston Beer Company. We're gonna allocate 100% of portfolio number one to Budweiser, 100% of portfolio number two to STZ, and 100% to portfolio number three to Boston Beer. Let's go ahead and change the names of these portfolios to Budweiser, portfolio number two is STZ, Constellation Brands, and the last one is Samuel Adams. All right, so when we hit Analyze Portfolio, this is us investing $10,000 back in 2010 into each one of these companies. With us reinvesting our dividends every single year into these companies, how much money will we have today in 2020? Which company performed the best over the last 10 years to give you the most return on your money? Go ahead in the comment section and leave down before I hit this button on which company do you think will have performed the best over the last 10 years? And if you're right, don't go back and change your answer. Just keep it down there and let's see what you guys was thinking before I hit this button. But here we go. All right, here we go. And wow, whoo, Samuel Adams straight up killed it. All right, so first of all, Budweiser, B-U-D, 
If you invested $10,000 back in 2010, you'll have $14,000 in your account today. So you have a profit of $4,000. That's not that good at all. STZ, $10,000, you'll have $124,000. That is insane. And Samuel Adams, you'll have $189,000 if you invested just $10,000 into one of these companies and just reinvested your dividends, you'll have over a six figure account, almost $200,000 from Samuel Adams. That is insane. But if we take a look at the graph, it gives you even more detail. So from the, from the jump, you can see that Budweiser never outperformed none of these two companies at all. Now back in 2014, 2015, uh, Samuel Adams and Constellation Brands have competed over the last two spots on which company was performing the best and STZ was beating them by the landslide until around 2018 when Samuel Adams they probably did something innovative and started to pick up that traction and revenue over the last couple years and back in 2020 May 31st 2020 Samuel Adams finally passed STZ on which company was performing the best over the last 10 years and Samuel Adams is starting to pull away over the last couple of months alone but STZ looks like a pretty good company to invest into it probably hit a little market dip due to the pandemic and Samuel Adams is uh, thriving during the pandemics because Americans we drink when we ain't got nowhere to go all right so if we scroll down and look at the dividend income return okay remember Samuel Adams do not have a dividend so we're going to look at STZ and Budweiser back in 2019 you would get $499 that year from dividends from Anheuser-Busch but um from STZ you will receive $1,967 so that is a pretty good investment STZ and um they pay dividends they've been outperforming Samuel Adams or if not on par with them for the last couple of years and just like the last month or so Samuel Adams just pulled away yes you will have a lot more money in Samuel Adams even if you reinvest your dividends with STZ but it looked like they have a pretty good solid growth and track record over the last couple of years maybe Samuel Adams might pull back a little bit and if you want those dividends STZ might be a good way to go but as you guys know, we got to look at the chart on what if we bought a dip? What if we bought a dip and reinvest our dividends? All of this time right here, this dip right here, that Samuel Adams is below STZ. Let's see if we would have bought, bought that dip on how would it have affect our portfolio. So what we're going to do, we're going to go up to the top and we're going to change this to, let's say we only had $1,000 to invest back in 2010, but we're going to contribute a fixed amount of $200 every single week or $800 a month. So we're going to change this to monthly. As you guys know, if you subscribe to my channel, that I invest $200 every single week into the stock market, which is $800 a month. So we're going to use my calculations right quick. So $1,000 to just start off the account but $200 every single week. What if I did this into one, each of these companies over the last 10 years? Uh, how would they have performed? So we're scrolling back down and we're gonna hit analyze portfolio and see how would have buying the dip made a difference at all. So let's scroll down and whoo, whoo yeah. Okay, so it did make a difference. It definitely made a difference. It, it, it made a difference, all right? Even just looking at the chart right quick, Samuel Adams was below Anheuser-Busch at one point right there, all the way back to 2017, it was below and highs of bush but it ended up catching up over the last couple years and did still outpass um surpass stz but we look at the charts uh you'll have ninety five thousand dollars in budweiser four hundred and thirty thousand dollars in stz and six hundred and sixty six thousand dollars in samuel adams the worst year budweiser had was down 38 percent the worst year STZ had was down 28% and the worst year Samuel Adams had was minus 30%. The best year was 40%, 46% for Budweiser, 98% from STZ and up 133% from Samuel Adams. So this is the charts from these three beer killer companies. All right, so if you guys wanted to invest into these three companies, Samuel Adams, Anheuser-Busch or Constellation Brands, which one would you invest into? Yes, Samuel Adams is ahead right now, but do you think their price is overvalued and they might pull back a little bit? 
STZ Constellation Brands, it's, it's been smooth. It's not any really big spikes lately. So you could be getting in at a good price and it also pays dividends. Now the king of all beers, Anheuser-Busch, Bud Light, Budweiser, Bud everything, it, it's not the best performing stock company out there. Even though their revenue was over $52 billion last year, they're not the best performing stock beer company out there they're just not even though they pay dividends they're just in fact they just cut their dividends so i don't know too much about anheuser bush bud but between stz constellation brands and samuel adams i think i might wait to samuel adams pull back just a little bit more before i buy back into that company and stz i think you could grab and pick that one up i think it's at a fair value right now at any time it also pays dividends and it can help you out on your dividend portfolio so you guys now that you have already guessed go back to your comment section and type in which company would you invest into now so now you got two comments down there. And while you're down there, go ahead, hit the subscribe button. 76% of you ain't subscribed anyway, so you might as well subscribe while you're down there. But other than that, I'm Zeke, bringing you the Dream Green Show, and I'm out. Peace.